Hello guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is question 3.12 of chapter 3 which is related to the random variables and probability distributions. So before going to discuss the same problem, today we are going to discuss another very important topic which is related to the cumulative distribution functions. Okay, So let me write it here and this one is also called CDF. Okay? So before discussing this CDF, we must have another function which is called PDF or probability density functions as well. Okay? So let us suppose a PDF in which we have a function like this one in which the random variable is x and uh, all the values of x are written here. So let me write them here as well and these values are let me write them here this is 0 the value of x is 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So let us have all these values and such that the probability of x equal to 0 is let me have it to a. Okay. Similarly, the probability value of x equal to 1 is let me have equal to b. Okay. The probability of the x equal to 2 is let me have it equal to c and the probability at x equal to 3 is so what is this? This is the probability distribution in which each instant here at the x-axis gives me the value of a random variable while on the y-axis I have got the probability of the each of the instant v. So this is what the PDF we have. In order to convert it to the CDF or finding the CDF what can we do? Let me have the same domains as we have here and here in order to do so this is x and here the values are let me write them here as well okay so these are different values here and the value here is 0 okay so at 0 at 1 at 2 and at 3 so the same values here we have and here in order to find the value at 0 we have here the value equal to a so this value will proceed up till this 1 and here when it will reach 1 what will happen here this a will be added with the probability which is at x equal to 1 and here we will get what this probability will be here and it will be what it will be a plus so this value is now a plus b unless and until it will reach this 2 and here this c which is the probability at x equal to 2 will be added with it as well. Okay, So let me add it with it and it will proceed up till this 3. Okay? So this probability value will be added and here we will get a plus b plus c. Up till this 3, we will get the value at x equal to 3 and this will be added with this one as well. And here we will get this value because we don't have other random variables here. And this will be added here and here this value will become what? Let me write it here. This will be a plus b plus c and the probability of it is d. Okay. So as these are the total instances, so therefore it will be ultimately giving me equal to one okay so why this because the cumulative values of all these because the values of all these in the pdf will give me a plus b plus c plus d this is equal to one and this is the condition for the pdf because all the probabilities here are equal to one and that's why this value will be here one as well so that is about the cdf which is the cumulative distribution function because this distribution has been cumulated here in the form of this CDF. So where to use this? Okay. So let me have this color and if I want to find out the probability of this region. Okay. So this is what this is the highlighted region and this region here is the region between 2 and 3 and I want to find out the probability that x is greater or equal to 2 and less than or equal to. So, do you have any knowledge that how to find out this area? This can be very easily found out by subtracting from this x equal to 2, this x equal to 2. Okay, from this x equal to 3 to this x equal to 2. Okay, so here I can find it out very easily by x equal to 3 
okay and from it i have to subtract x equal to two okay so from by using it i can find out this probability and this will be the essence of our next question okay so this is the question and here i can find out different probabilities by using the same form similarly if i want to find out other re probabilities as well just like this one this is the highlighted area here and how can we find it out this is the region between 0 and 1 so here in order to find the probability that x is greater or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 we can very easily find it out by subtracting the higher from higher value the lower value okay the probability so this is what this is the introduction of the cdf a formal introduction if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box so let us discuss question 3.12 in our upcoming video see you soon